Waterfront flood protection measures could face an additional test if those strong forecasted winds come to reality. Well, the forecast for the strong winds that are expected later today will have an impact on uh, certainly the, the, the flood, pre flood prevention measures that we've put in place. So that will be a real test for us to see if they hold. What it'll do is it will impact, obviously, uh, we do have a number, a lot of debris that's in place. And with the other ladder dams and so forth, we'll actually see some wave action. Some good news, though. It's finally starting to feel like summer in the Okanagan. We're currently sitting at 17 degrees and are going to see a high of 29 by this afternoon. Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday are all looking beautiful with highs of 25 to 30 degrees in sunshine all day. But those hot temperatures could result in more flooding. There's a lot of snowpack up in the higher elevation and of course with this heat, sudden heat uh, that we're experiencing will bring it down a little bit quicker. But hopefully mid-June we'll be we'll see some easing. For those boaters who are dying to get out on the water, Court is saying you may need to wait a little bit longer. Well, we're encouraging people to stay off the lake if possible. I noticed this weekend it was pretty quiet, uh, particularly with a nice hot uh, weekend that we experienced. So that message still remains is that we would ask boaters to refrain from boating. There's a lot of debris out there and certainly safe boater safety as well as the protection of our shore for sure is important. For more information on flooding and how to protect your property, you can visit courtemergency.ca. For Castanet News, I'm Madison Earhart in Kelowna. Big on business? Click the Okanagan Edge widget on the main page. The Okanagan Edge, positively business.